Galactic Federation Update, August 27, 2013. 3 Maluk, 12 Uo, 10 Kaban. Drazo. We come today with much to tell you. Your world continues to be a covert battlefield, with the Dark Cabal's minions hanging on grimly despite the ground being gained every day by the forces of the light. This protracted operation is somewhat discouraging to those who have committed themselves to the light and its ultimately inevitable victory. The Dark retains control of most of the international monetary system that in any way deals with the U.S. Federal Reserve and its numerous banking allies, although this grip is no longer what it once was. However, the Federal Reserve and its criminal, destructive practices is facing its nemesis. A key moment is approaching when this ill-intentioned and bankrupt banking fraternity will be required to make a payment in actual gold bullion which it does not possess. This default is to give the forces of light the opportunity to defrock the Federal Reserve of its powers and force a public bankruptcy and legal takeover of this highly illegal entity. This event is shortly to manifest. The fall of the Federal Reserve signals the demise of the current de facto U.S. regime. In concert with this, a number of legal enforcement agencies are encircling various components of the U.S. government and are anxiously awaiting the final set of documents authorizing the removal of what was once considered to be a truly omnipotent instrument of the dark. The movers and shakers in the economy who have long provided the resources to maintain the present government have either deserted the obviously sinking ship or are preparing to do so. Throwing the dark cabal into an ever-deepening chasm of desperation. The conundrum for the dark is to find a way to save itself from imminent catastrophe without setting in motion events that would demolish their self-serving power base. The true fragility of the U.S. government is hidden behind a carefully woven tapestry of dark-controlled media spin, purporting to show business as usual in all sectors of government and finance, but behind this facade lies a regime whose top members have international arrest warrants hanging over their heads. These warrants now only need the signature of a judge to take effect. And so we sit in abeyance knowing that a process is underway which will shortly permit a whole new reality to arise. As you can see, your world sits on the brink of transformation, which will not only bring in wholly new governance and redress the global balance of power. It is designed to utterly transform how your reality functions. A vast prosperity machine is ready now to manifest and lies at the heart of a complete makeover of your global banking and monetary systems. This, in turn, changes the very basis of global governance. You are to witness the downfall of the Dark Ones and the rise of de jure governance which restores your innate liberties and rights. These civic and spiritual requisites in truth enact what was intended to happen in the revolutions of the late 18th century. In effect, you are living through the completion of the revolution that was born in England and which rose to adulthood in the fields and townships of colonial America. These noble ideas have since traveled the globe and are presently maturing in this most needed quiet revolution of the early 21st century. But as befits this spacefaring millennium, this revolution will expand to include your graduation to the next techno-spiritual level, beginning with the introduction of your spiritual and space families. This means that the quarantine placed around you at the fall of Atlantis is to end, signaling your return to the level of wisdom of your fully conscious ancestors. Long ago in Lemuria, it was envisioned that you would become the guardian race for Gaia. But events conspired to arrange a detour for this lofty goal and the Anunnaki were allowed, for a predetermined time, to substitute this stewardship with the hijacking of Gaia's human population and the total ravaging of your world. This situation is now to be restored to its original intent. Our task is to reunite you with your Lemurian brethren who relocated to Inner Earth, and together you are to birth a new world. This will redress a lot of the damage to near pristine levels, and in this condition she can begin to prepare herself to reconfigure her 3D surface. This is when her beloved surface humanity will go through their own DNA restoration as you are to change in conjunction with her. This is when you will go to your inner earth residences, which house your individual light chambers, and you and Gaia, together, will transform into your fully conscious selves. Blessings. We are your ascended masters. 
We come before you with some very interesting news. The preliminary negotiations between the Light's legal teams and their DAR counterparts are finished, and this ongoing struggle has entered a very critical stage. The documents authorizing the arrest and removal of top-level government personnel are issued and require only signatures. This is to happen shortly. The Cabal's last desperate stratagems will fail, thus precipitating its defeat. The new hard currencies to be issued are at their global distribution points, and so the age of fiat money and the fiscal abuse that it inspires comes to a close. We are entering a time when prosperity for all is to be the norm and the old ways are to become horror stories, loved by none. You will see the renewal of all your stolen rights and papered over innate freedoms which have long been grossly abused or denied you outright. Let us in love celebrate this well-earned, miraculous turn of events. Our primary mission is to guide humanity and teach you the hidden knowledge and wisdom which the dark has for so long kept from you. Step 1 is to begin a series of lessons showing you how each of us was introduced to the prime truths of creation. These lessons will erase the falsehoods and voids which were placed into your major philosophical texts by the Anunnaki and their global minions. This first step will reacquaint you with the concept that each of you is a being of light. Every living soul has an innate knowledge of the energies that go into their makeup. Over the dark eons, you were browbeaten by doctrine that exhorted you to give up your innate power voluntarily to another. Now you are to cast off this profane creed and learn how to develop your God-given abilities and use them cooperatively among yourselves to solve creatively any problems that might come up, remembering at all times that you are all one. Each one, divine aspects of the living spark of everlasting life. Prepare yourselves, for much is ready to happen. A profusion of events is to spring out suddenly from all directions and these events will transform your lives in many different ways. The part that we, understandably, are most interested in is the considerable spiritual training that you require. This can only take place in an atmosphere of freedom and ease, where we can easily manifest and provide the free and open teaching and supervision that you demand. Your Galactic Federation mentors will also prove to be very helpful but there are certain spiritual matters that fall into our particular areas of expertise. It is our job to move you away from centuries of dogma into the pure, spiritual bliss of divine truth. Ensconced in this heavenly light, you are prepared for the ways of full consciousness. You are breathing in the clean air of heaven and beholding the beauty of the Creator's awesome brilliance. Today, we tried to give you a glimpse of what is hard to put into words. The last horrible days of the dark's immense treacheries are nearly over. Glance around you and perceive the truth of what is about to occur. A new dawn and a new day is coming over the horizon. Above all, be proud of what you, collectively, have accomplished. Know, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it. Selamat Gajan. Selamat Ya, Syrian for B1. And be in joy. Channeled by Sheldon Nidal www.paoweb.com